what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Pleasant View. So today we are back with the Dreamer family and it's Daddy Daycare. We have Darren. He is home, obviously. He doesn't have a job. He's still unemployed. He's still painting. But since he is married to Cassandra now and, you know, they got a heap of sum of money when he married her and the fact that she works, he is allowed to be a stay-at-home dad and you know have fun painting and whatnot doing his thing but anyways he is taking care of little Damon here it's 11 o'clock so I'm expecting Dirk to come home soon in the last part we had Dirk try to get into private school because that is something that he really really wanted and I really had high hopes I thought that he was gonna make it in I really honest to God I really did um, and I think it had to do with like his grades. I didn't think our score was that bad. Plus, you know, Cassandra and her family has their connections. But unfortunately, it didn't work out like I thought. And I could not schmuse, schmuse him, the headmaster, worth a flip. So unfortunately, Dirk did not get into private school, which was like devastating for him. But um, he's okay, he's managing. Uh, Cassandra actually made him feel better and was like, you know, take it from me. I've come from that world. You don't need private school to get a good job, a good education, and to get into school. You still have great grades. You got a good head on your shoulders. You're determined, and you're a smart kid. You're going to make it, so don't worry about it. It'll be all right. So I think, you know, he is a little bit, it did affect his, um, his aspiration level quite a bit put him down in the red so we're really gonna have to work on that he wants to earn some money and win a hundred dollars so I think we may get him like a part-time job to help him like earn some money but he does want to go to college so I'm going to lock that um, but yeah so we have a little bit of work to do with him what is he doing he's lounging just chilling okay well I think we probably need to come in here and clean up maybe have some lunch ready what time does Cassandra get home today she gets home at 3. Whew, she is stinky. Her needs uh, have gone to shite. <laughs> uh, I tried to get her needs up this morning before she went to work, but I figured, you know what? Go on to work, girl. You had your baby. I know she's dying to, you know, get out and get back to, like, her usual grind and routine. So we're going to have him come over here and sell this super creepy clown painting. Come over here and mop up. Just be absolute husband goals have the house all cleaned up for her when she comes in i don't know if we have any lunch leftovers i'm not really sure what we have oh he doesn't have any really good cooking skill does he no so you know what we're gonna work on that i hate that you have to study cooking in order to to level up in your your skills, which I don't know, I think you could probably cook and it level up, but it's a lot quicker just to study that way. Um, so he didn't bring a friend home from school or anything like that, but I do want to get him a part-time job. Like I said, I want to start focusing on him a little bit because he will be aging up soon. And I have mentioned this before that when him, Dustin, Angela, and Lilith all age up, I do want to move them in a household together and send them all to college so we can play and focus on them at college at the same time. I think that would be really, really fun. And then we'll have them get through college. And then I think we'll wrap up um, the season of Pleasant View and then move on to either, um, oh my god, why can't I think of it? <laughs> either Strange Town or Veronaville. There we go. Move on to that. But here we are. There is an opening in the entertainment career track as a stand up comedian. I don't see him being a comedian, he's kind of serious. Um, there is an opening in the politics career track as a door to door polar. We're going to take that job because I had a few people mention that he would probably do really good in the medical career, medicine career, or either the politics career. So we're going to go ahead and take that one and see what is his schedule. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So he is going to have a pretty demanding uh, job depending, I mean not depending, considering you know he has school too at the same time. Uh, so yeah. Cassandra will be home shortly. We're just going to have him come and, I guess, get your... I mean, he's throwing a fit. He's stressing out. It's okay. Just play your game. It's cool. Don't lose it, dude. Don't lose it. 
Damon is so cute. So we're going to cuddle with him. So yeah, we have a whole new generation of Sims 2 Pleasant View babies. Who do we have? We have a Damon. We have, I don't even remember their names. We have Olivia um, Lothario, right? Is it her last name? Is it Lothario or is it Caliente? I don't know, but it's Nina. Yeah, Nina and Dawn's baby. I can't keep up with all of them. And then we have Spencer. Did I name him Spencer? What did I name uh, Spencer God? I think I did name him Spencer. Dina and Mortimer's baby. Uh, who else? Oh, uh, Brandy just had, or well, he aged up. It wasn't his name. What did I name him? Nathan? I think I named him Nathan. Oh my gosh, I can't keep, I really can't keep up with all these babies, but I think it's cute. They're all going to grow up together, and it's exciting that we have a whole new generation, so we can definitely look forward to maybe like a Seasons 2. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cassandra has brought a friend home from work today. Oh, Cassandra has been promoted to science teacher. No amount of field research could have prepared you for the naked savagery of teaching a high school science class. At least it's a job with regular hours. Keep those lab messes clean and build logic skills to aid you in getting a different job. Alrighty, so she has got a promotion, so that is good, um, but she she's struggling as you can see and she's brought a friend home so we'll talk to christy later but right now our girl really needs a shower like big time and i really want you to not talk through the bat to dirt <laughs> i really would like you to come down here and dispose of this mess so we cannot stress her out any more than she needs to be i really wish you had a little bit more higher cooking skills so we could cook a decent meal because everybody's starting to get a little bit hungry um, I don't know. I, I wish that Cassandra's needs wasn't so moody. So maybe we could all go out and uh, maybe leave like Damon with a babysitter or a nanny and then have these three go out to eat. I think that would be really fun. We might actually do that. I don't know. Just depending on how fast I can get our girl's needs up here. It's quite quite a struggle, but we're going to try to see what we can do. He actually needs a shower too. So I'm just going to try to get their needs up real quick so we can possibly do that he's getting hungry um why don't you just come in here and talk to this nice lady no 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 no! don't eat the leftovers we may be going out to dinner don't be doing that now i think that's something that i think we're just gonna go ahead and go for it um because at least when they get back they'll be they'll be sleepy i haven't heard from you in a while are you okay cassandra things have been pretty hectic for me but i'd love to get together and try don't be a stranger okay dawn dawn you left the girl at the altar she's remarried has a baby she's happy and you have a baby and you're living with nina i mean i know that y'all in one part y'all talked it out became friends but let's not get too ahead of ourselves she's not backtracking here <laughs> all right so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and have them all get ready i'm gonna have him hire a nanny for the baby and then i think i'm gonna take these three out to a nice restaurant because that's something that i haven't done much of here i like i've mentioned before i'm not very keen on taking my sims 2 out to community lots it's just a lot different um, from The Sims 2 in that sense, but we're gonna have our girl. I know she's 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 struggling. Let's have her come down here and watch some TV. We're gonna hire a, um, a, a, a nanny. Come down here and get some of your fun up before we leave, so you're not killing me. I'd be happy to take care of your little ones, just to let you know. Yada yada yada. Just for now. All right, so we have arrived at this nice restaurant. It's super fancy. I feel like I probably should have changed them into their formal wear. Well, Cassandra and Darren don't look too bad, but Dirk looks a little underdressed. Um, I tried also off camera. I tried to get them a driveway in a car because I keep forgetting in The Sims 2 that we have cars. For some reason, it kept saying the driveway was out of bounds, so I'm going to have to play around with that later and try to figure out how I can get them a car because realistically I feel like this is one of the families that could definitely afford one of the nicer cars and have some of the nicer things <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna work on that but anyways let's have him come in here and be seated oh could y'all not be seated together for real for real I wonder if he's going to sit. No. I mean, what the hell? Really? Why can't they all sit together? Uh-huh. This is a joke, right? This is a joke. I know this is a joke. Okay, you know what? 
we're just going to be seated at the counter with our mom and y'all. <laughs> We're just going to pretend that they're sitting together because I honestly thought that I could bring them here and as a, I guess like The Sims 4, they'd be considered a group, uh, but apparently, apparently not. Apparently that's not how it works here, so we're just going to have them eat. That's the main goal here because they're starving, so let's order uh, the filet mignon, 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 mignon. <laughs> Oh, Cassandra wants to go on a mountain vacation. I think that'd be fun. She also wants to get a kitten or puppy. But yeah, I definitely want to start playing around with the vacations. I have not been having any luck with, you know, having my Sims do like family oriented things in The Sims 2 because it's just a lot more difficult, as you can see, to even have them go get dinner together. It's a little strange. But do we have our waitress over here yet? No. We have got to order our food so we can eat. And then we'll just get back home because, honestly, this was a big fat fail. I wanted them to have a nice little family outing, kind of like these two. I'm not really sure how that works. I guess I missed something. It's not as simple as I thought. Um, can somebody please come and take our order? Okay. Let's see. Order for me. We're going to have um, we're gonna have some ribs. Sure. So, I th well, at least these two can bond. I think that's sweet, you know. She, it's like, hey, you know, just talking to him because he has been a little bit down about, you know, not making it uh, into private school. But they're bonding, and I think that's really, really cute. Now, I want to come back over here and be greeted. Yes, can somebody come take our order? He's over here all by himself. I mean, oh, wait, no, not Brandon. Brandon, I don't want to talk to you. I want my waitress to come over here so I can eat. Um, see her hunger went all the way up because that was a really good quality meal but I will say even though it was not easy to get them to you know sit at a table with each other the food comes out a whole lot quicker it's not a lot of waiting around like in The Sims 4 when you go to a restaurant is she done with us is she not gonna come take our order because I'm freaking hungry so please Katerina girl I'm hungry all right, we have arrived back home. And see, this is what I don't like, having my Sims leave and go to community lots because they left at, you know, six something. It was about midnight when they left downtown eating. And now they get back and it's the same time it was when they left. And it's just really weird. But their needs are still the same. She's still about to fall asleep. On, okay, so she is going to sleep cool. Um, he's super sleepy too. And apparently he didn't eat his food or something because his hunger is still struggling which is very annoying but i'm just gonna have them all get ready for bed and then let's see dirk he's sleepy too um yeah i guess he can just go ahead and go to sleep i think the nanny just left we have christy you know over here cuddling our baby which is fine you know we're all tired go for it girl <laughs> I think I'm going to have him get some leftovers before he goes to sleep. Oh, oh, God. Excuse me, Nanny Lawson. Do you mind? Am I in your way? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so um, can we dismiss her? Okay, I guess we're going to have to dismiss her, but we're not going to do that until after we eat. Just in case the baby starts crying, uh, I do, I'm do. i struggling with their needs, so let me catch their needs up. I'm going to hope that Nanny Lawson uh, does a good job taking care of the baby. Dirk, what's going on? Can you not come up here and sleep? Okay, uh, this woman just is having issues. <laughs> Looks like she's having a struggle bus. She's trying to use the potty or something. Oh my gosh. Looks like Darren has fallen asleep in his food. At least his hunger is still, uh, well, it was going up. I was going to say, I mean, I can let him sleep like this because at least his hunger is going up. All right, wake up. Come on now. Get it together. Get it together. Oh my god, just... She just threw our baby on the ground. Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you, Nanny Lawson. <laughs> Christy, you're not allowed back over to our house anymore. What the hell, girl? Throwing our baby on the ground. Come down here and have dinner with our man? I don't know. Cassandra, you better, you better know she would whoop that ass if she was up right now. Throwing her baby on the ground and then coming down here and trying to snack up to her. Snack up. I don't even know. I don't even know what snack up means. Can we ask her to leave? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's a little bit attracted to her, too not good <laughs> i'm just kidding he, she's not a threat by no means um, but we are going to say goodbye to her we do need to dismiss the nanny before he passes out all right so it is one o'clock in the morning and damon must be hungry or something he is having a fit so let's come down here and feed a bottle to him 
he should be aging up shortly. I don't remember how many days they stay babies in The Sims 2. I think it's probably about the same as The Sims 3, two or three days. Um, so I'm excited to see what he looks like as a little toddler. It'd be a little bit easier on us to handle him. Not too much, but uh, maybe he just, yeah, he has a dirty diaper it looks like, but he's probably a little bit hungry too. So we're going to change that diaper. And I do, I do want them to have another baby, I think. Um, I don't know. We don't really have room for another baby, quite honestly. But uh, Dirk will be moving out shortly, so I think it's something that we can tr try to do. You know, we can try to make it happen because we will have an extra bedroom. And, you know, he is quite older than her, so he will probably, well, more definitely, yeah, more more than probably he will definitely be turned into an elder before her and unfortunately passing away i'm sure before her so i think we do need to have another baby i really want them to have a little girl i just think that every father should have a little girl and i think it would really just change their life um i know unfortunately some some people just like to pop out them boys some some people just like to pop out them girls but for me personally i think every mom should have a son <laughs> because there's just something about like a mommy's boy and so she's got her mommy's boy and i think that every dad should have a daddy's girl because i think that having a girl will definitely change a man um just you know i don't know i've just i've seen it happen in my friends that have had little girls i've seen them grow up and change versus when one of my friends has a boy there's just there's just something different about it you know if that makes sense um but yeah i do want them to have another baby hopefully it'll be a little girl and that's why i'm also hoping that olivia which is don's daughter will you know completely change him for the better i do want him to settle down with nina because i i like nina i think that she obviously really 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 likes don always has so I'd love to see them, you know, get married and actually make it. I'm rooting for them. But anyways, she's trying to scrub the bathtub <laughs> at 2 o'clock in the morning. This struggle is real. I'm right, right, right. Okay, so it is Friday. She does have to work today. We have to work on her skills. Um, it doesn't show me what her next promotion is going to be. But we have to get two more logic skills and a cleaning skill. So we're moving on up. She's making pretty good money. Um, I'm not not done working on her you know uh promotion wise and everything like that i don't want to settle with just being a science teacher she definitely wants to be like a mad scientist like her father and pursue that path but we're just gonna have her clean up a little bit and then i'm gonna have her well i think they have some breakfast maybe there's enough leftovers so she doesn't have to cook um so yeah when they all wake up they'll have food and whatnot but um I guess I'm just going to have her come and nap on the couch. I don't think, there, it's not an option to nap in the bed, is it? No. I'm just going to have her nap on the couch and, you know, get her energy back up before she has to go to work later or else she is going to be super tired. Alrighty, so everybody is up. Looks like Cassandra's, uh, will be leaving for work shortly. She just got her carpool notification. Unfortunately, we forgot to have Dirk do his homework, so... Uh, I don't know if we're going to have time to do that before he heads off to school, but it's okay. He has an A+. Plus. I know it'll hurt his grade a little bit, but not too bad. And he won't be too far behind. He can definitely still catch up. But he does have low social right now. Oh, no. Looks like our shower has broken. He's also hungry, so let's come down here and grab a plate. We have Darren up here taking a shower. His fun is killing him. He is super, super bored. But, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I don't want to drag it out too much because, honestly, we haven't had a lot going on. Um, I think we just had a nice little family bonding day with the Dreamer family. Um, I think everything and every family right now, or at least the family with the teenagers, is kind of at like a slow building moment because they will be going to college, which will be very shortly because I did say that Angela and Lilith are older than the rest of them. So I think once it's time for them to age up, which I think they have like two days until they age up, I'm going to go ahead and choose to age up their friends, which is, you know, Dustin and Dirk, and have them go off to college together. Um, so they will be aging up a little bit prematurely, Dirk and um, Dustin, because they are, you know, like I said, a little bit younger than the girls. But I feel like that'll be like a whole new dynamic playing with university. I think that's really fun, something to look forward to. But right now, we're just kind of lollygagging around, just having, you know, Darren and Cassandra get used to 
you know, the, the newlywed life and having a baby and considering, like I said, having another. So these two are just having their nice little bonding dad and dad and son bonding, which they haven't had in quite a bit. We definitely need to have them, you know, maybe go somewhere and do something because for a long time it was just them two. And I mean, they're Justin, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see, you know, maybe Dana and Cassandra having another baby. Fingers crossed it's a girl. I'm excited for Dirk, you know, moving on and going to college. I think him and Lilith will, you know, do really, really good. I think they're just really good for each other. But yeah, lots of fun stuff to look forward to in this Let's Play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comment suggestions, everything like that down below. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.